It's been a while. It's been a while. Okay. I'm ready. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I don't even know if it comes up on your subscriber feed anymore. I have been gone for two months now. Actually, a little over two months. And I feel so bad because in my last video I promised two demos and that never really happened. But I have my reasons. So this video is kind of like an update plus a what's in my bag video. So I have my bag right here. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of update in case you cared. I have been struggling with breakouts recently with my face. Um, it's a little bit better now. I'll be sharing with you the cruelty-free skincare products I've used and tried and used. And I will let you know what I think about them because I don't think there's a lot of resources for cruelty-free products out there, especially for skincare. The main reason I stopped using my old skincare product, which was literally what I have been using for a while, for months and months, this is the one that I showed you in my previous skincare video. It's not cruelty free, at least I don't know that it is, and so I was searching for cruelty free brands that would work on my skin, and I haven't really perfected it yet. That's the first reason. The second reason is I'm on night shift now, so at work I work from 6 to 6, and so my body clock is kind of the opposite of the usual like my daytime is nighttime my nighttime is daytime so on my days where I don't work I usually just sleep in and at night I don't ever think about filming because the lighting isn't as good like right now it's nighttime and um, the lighting is just not as natural looking um, so hopefully it's not too harsh and I hope you don't mind but that's most of the time the reason why I don't film the third and last reason is that even though I have my lighting, my table, my chair, my corner set up, I need a camera that has a flip screen or at least it could connect to a monitor that I can look at because it really is a struggle having to set up a mirror behind it and see if I'm in focus, see if I'm like in good lighting or whatever. So that's kind of like the last reason. So for Christmas, I asked for um, a different filming camera with a flip screen and like a monitor to connect it to. Nothing's been going on really. I'm just, I've just been working. Um, I do work full time. And um, yeah, other than that, we just kind of just stay at home and be lazy, watch Netflix or whatever. If you have any questions about what's been going on or if you have any particular curiosities in mind, just comment them below. I will read them and I will answer them. So let's move on to my what's in my bag video. I had a what's in my bag video posted, but this was like two or three years ago. This was a long ass time ago. And the, the, the video quality is really, really bad. So, um, it was kind of like a really silly thing that I did. I was wearing these huge hair extensions on the side of my head and I was trying to do the old Zang look because it was around this time actually. It was, uh, I was preparing for my Halloween costume. So I'll link it below in case you want to watch it after this or you want to watch that first and then compare um, the difference between my bag now and back then. I have this bag. I forgot what type of bag it is, but it is from Urban Outfitters. I am going to list it in the description box. I don't think you can get it anymore. I got it on sale for $14 and for the first time in my life, I, I bought like one type of product in two different colors. So I bought it in this black and then the other one is more of like a cognac brown um, color for when I need a brown bag, but most of the time I haven't used the brown one This is what I use for when I go out do errands um, And also at work and I even brought this with me in New York. It's a very nice handy bag um, I used to bring huge bags, but it can get a little bit more inconvenient so what I love about this bag is that it has a lot of compartments. It can contain a lot of my stuff because the type of, um, I don't know if this is real leather. I don't think so. This is fake leather, but it's the type that really stretches out and contains everything that I bring with me. You can actually use it as a shoulder bag or a crossbody bag. All you have to do is to adjust the um, length of this kind of straps with this. You hook it on and then it gets really, really long. I don't really know what this thing is for, 
But yeah, so you can extend it. Um, like I said, I brought it with me in New York and it was the best bag ever. I brought it with me when we were walking around, when we were partying, when we were chilling, hanging out at bars and stuff. So it was super, super convenient. So I haven't checked this bag. I literally just got home from doing errands and stuff. And so whatever's in this bag is exactly how I use it and what's inside it. Let's start with the front pocket. I have keys. So these are my car keys. It's very practical. Who cares? Um, and then in this inside pocket, I have my phone and my work ID. Okay. My work ID, which I kind of keep here because, you know, on my way to work, I just kind of clip it and then swipe it so I can enter the facility. And then I have a bunch of like cotton, um, I mean not cotton, uh, alcohol wipes. I actually have a ton. You know what, I'm gonna put this bag down. It's kind of heavy. Um, Jalif bro. Um, so I have a bunch of alcohol wipes. These are the alcohol wipes that we use at work. Um, and I usually just kind of put them in my pocket along with this bandage scissor. Um, and I just keep it there so I could put it in my pocket right away on my way to work. And then I have pens. This is my previous kind of clip for my ID. Um, right, right pocket. So in the right pocket, I have my favorite mint. Um, it's the Altoids in peppermint. I haven't actually tried the spearmint. Well, I did actually, but I prefer the uh, peppermint ones. I have a hand sanitizer. I'm actually gonna use this up and I'm gonna purchase the Be Naturals more all natural hand sanitizer, um, but I haven't like finished it off yet, so I didn't wanna waste it. And then I have a hand lotion. Now on my left pocket, I have more of like touch up stuff. I have here a Scandinavia face spray for like, I wanna feel fresh if I'm feeling really sleepy or haggard or my makeup is starting to fall apart. I just spray this to kind of help it out a little bit. And then I have blotting sheets. I'm using the e.l.f. ones, but they're literally worthless. Like they are a dollar each, but might as well get the clean and clear ones. The main reason I didn't, didn't get the clean and clear ones is because they're always out of stock, which is completely understandable. And then I have this mirror that I got from Korea. It's very pretty, pretty, pretty. It's made in Korea. It's not like, you know, made in China and then they just sell it as souvenirs. Um, so yeah, I like it. It's like a shell kind of design. It's really pretty. Um, next I have here my Travelo, which I put my cologne or perfume in because it's just so handy and tiny. But I also have my, um, what's this? The Versace, I forgot the name of this thing. Bright Crystal Roller Ball. I love that scent. And I have my favorite, favorite tinted lip balm. It is the Alba Botanica Mineral Terra Tints with SPF 15 in Blaze. It just gives my lips this really rich, kind of um, healthy look to it. And it's very moisturizing, plus it has this minty feel on the lips. Um, so I have this lip pencil from Ever Belena, and I just kind of used that at work. And then I have Two lip products from Lip Sense. This is the Lip Sense in Crimson Red. And I was told that this is what Christina Aguilera wears. Um, and then this is just the matte lip gloss that you put on top of it. So this line is actually designed to stay on your lips forever. Um, it's not gonna go anywhere. It will stick to your lips. And I have tried it. I have a video on Instagram. If you don't follow me, follow me on Instagram or call Jana. Um, showing you how it is kiss proof and it will not blah, 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 it will not budge. I got this from a friend of mine because it's like an Avon kind of thing where or Mary Kay where you get it from sellers. Um, the reason why I have this here is because I brought this with me in New York and this was kind of like my go-to lip color when I when we were gonna go out. So I just kind of switched um, my look with putting on re red lip color. Oh my gosh, that was such a struggle. Now let's move on to the main part of the bag. And so this is just a zip bag. 
and over here I bought this from Urban Outfitters as well. It is the snake um, skin, it's not really snake skin guys, but um, this is the snake skin wallet. And what I love about this is it has this um, latching thing that I could put on the side of my bag for security purposes. And then it just holds all my cards and I have a different purse for my cash and coins. Now I have two different bags, which I guess we could quickly go through. Um, but before that, let me just show you the rest of the stuff I have here. So I have two different headphones. I don't really know why, but yeah. Um, I have a bunch of coins a pen and then I have earrings I didn't know these were here I was looking for these so I have these um, it's like a vintage uh, blue gem what do you call blue gem again is it amethyst but it's a really kind of cute vintage earring that I'm going to wear right now because it matches my top um, I haven't been wearing earrings in the longest time I just feel like my ears get irritated every time that I do, which never really used to happen to me before. And then I have checkbooks, because you never know when you need to write a check, old school style. And the coins that I was telling you about. And then on the other pockets, I have this, and it holds like business cards. And then this is my coach uh, cash and coin purse bag. And then I have this to-go pack Clorox wipes because you'll never know when you need to disinfect surfaces. And then I have here my Kindle for when I'm bored or when I'm waiting. I just read if my phone is dying. And then I have here this cute shopping bag that folds into this. So I just kind of like unfold it, obviously. And, um, yeah, use it for when I go shop at flea markets or whatever. And, um, I think that's it for, like, the, the entire thing inside my bag. Oh, this is from Dina and Ozzy, this bag. So, I have two different bags. I have my toiletry, well, I wouldn't call this toiletry, but it's like my go-to first aid bag and then my makeup bag. So, for my go-to, um, first aid bag, I have just tissues, I have um, this lens wipe and then the spray for lenses because I do wear glasses. And then I have tampons, I have uh, sanitary pads, I have band-aids um, for like, you know when you wear a shoe and it hurts your feet, you can put that on or if you get a boo-boo, you can put it on. I have hair pins and I have safety pins and buttons. And this one is like an oil. This is an essential oil called Balance that my friend gave me. And she tells me that it really is effective when you want to kind of like relax. So the essential oil seeps into your pores and just kind of calms you down. So that's it for the other bag. This is my makeup bag. I don't have a lot of stuff in here. I just bring my blotting powder from MAC. I have this Brow Fix Brow Kit from Wet n Wild, but I've been wearing my brows pretty dark these days and pretty thick, so that's the reason why I have this just for touch-ups because I don't really use it on general occasions. And then I have here my NYC Liquid Liner, and I just throw in the stuff here that I don't regularly use and I have sitting and it's pretty convenient and small. And I have this um, Sheer Cover duo concealer that I got in my Influence Star Box box in the past and this is in light medium and I have the Fit Me Shine Free foundation and the reason I brought this is because you can use it as a foundation touch up or a concealer all at the same time and it has a really nice powdered finish so I don't have to set my powder. And then I have a lash glue for when I'm wearing lashes and it kind of doesn't stick anymore. And I have two different dual-ended brushes. This is for concealer, for brows, for, um, I don't know, powder or whatever. 
because um, I obviously don't have a blush and contour powder here. And then another lip liner and this really pretty Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the color Patina, which I really like, which matches this lip liner very well. So that is it for the stuff in my bag, guys. Um, let me know what you have in your bag. Tweet it to me. And I would really, really love to see what's in your bag because I'm nosy like that. You know what it is. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for my next video. And I hope you enjoyed this one. Bye.